Well, I'm looking for my water. I brought it and I took it out of the refrigerator and left it on the bar. Oh, well. <clears throat> Thank you, Oscar. Y'all, um, you see the name Oscar Solis. That's the guy who's responsible for this sound. He comes in and I leave the house to leave him with my piano to tune it. He does such an amazing job. Um, I get so many compliments on the piano and I know it's because of the way Oscar takes care of it. And he probably comes a lot more often than he would like to because I can't, I can't stand it with when it's eight weeks or so, I'm ready for it to be tuned again. Um, anyway, thank you all for persevering through my tirade last night. Um, when I played last night, I was extremely exhausted. I had just come in. I hadn't been home five minutes and I set everything up. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> and went live and probably shouldn't have in retrospect. Um, my, my grace was a little short. Um, and when so many of you couldn't, couldn't get the video in good form, it was so frustrating to me because it just felt like, I felt like Jesus, um, and, and the crowd crying, crucify him, crucify him, because there was nothing I could do about it. It was inevitable out of my control. It was inevitable. It was going to happen. But um, I've just spent about an hour with the technician. You probably saw the live earlier. Um, I spent about an hour with the technician setting everything up again. And he gave me, the best thing that happened was he gave me um, a screen on my laptop screen where I can watch what's going on with the internet. So now I know if anything happens, I will know whether it's the signal that I'm sending to you or something in Restream, which is what sends the signal out, or if it's something on your end. And um, the only thing I can tell you, and it's kind of funny, so laugh with me. I'm not, I'm not making fun of anybody, but you wouldn't believe how many messages I get when people say, I have no sound, I have no sound, and it's so frantic. And I just want to say, turn your volume up. <laughs> uh, because usually that's what it is, and I'm guilty of the same thing. Mom and I are guilty of not turning our volume down when we go live, so you hear it. But anyway, um, I've been on 29 minutes. I'm going to play a few more minutes it's late. I have to get up early in the morning. It's late for me. It's not late for most people, but um, I'm, I'm going to play just a couple more things. <laughs>
So if I can take a second before we close and do a little self-promotion, um, talking about the event that we're hosting here at in Myrtle Beach in January. It's Friday night, January 12th, Saturday morning, January 13th, and Saturday night. We're going to have three different events. There are, as, as you probably read, I won't name them because I'll forget them, but there are, I think, eight. There may be more, but there are eight pianists who play on Facebook Live regularly um, who are coming to Myrtle Beach. The event is completely free. Um, everybody is donating their airfare and time and all of that um, to just come and meet our friends who are we've met through Facebook but never met in person. So um, I, I want to tell you I can't give you a lot of detail because it would take too long, but but if you can make arrangements to come, um, there's North Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach proper, but Myrtle Beach proper has a south end. So the church, Kingsway PH, is on the south end of Myrtle Beach. Um, there's, there's a beautiful resort right at Spring May Pier. There's Crown Reef Resort, which is almost directly, the church is on the ocean. It's probably four blocks off of the ocean. Crown Reef is right on the ocean. Um, um, Marriott Residence Inn Oceanfront is just um, probably four, five, six blocks from the ocean. Um, but what I wanted to tell you is we are getting ready to post this on our, my website. We can't post it on Facebook because it's just too difficult to write the event to, for you to be able to make all of the choices. But we need to know how many are coming. Um, not in a formal, you know, linen envelope, um, you know, type like embossed, engraved, um, RSVP. What we just need to know is if you're planning on coming, um, the church only holds about 330, maybe 350 people, 350 if we squeeze in. Um, so it's going to be, It's. I think we're going to have a good crowd. But what I'm trying to do is make this so that as many of you can meet and, and fellowship with the, with the pianist, with the musicians, and with the vocalist. My friend Jan Ford is coming to lead the congregational singing. We're not having a choir. We're going to do Red Book hymns. Um, and Friday night and Saturday night, then Trey Ogle is going to do coffee and hymns at 9 Saturday morning. And then at 10, we'll all... Um, be there listening to Trey, but then we'll start our congregational singing again. But here's what here's what I want to tell you. If you're coming, we are we are going to host dessert and coffee after it's Friday night. So we probably won't get out until nine or nine thirty Friday night. There's only one restaurant that's nearby, believe it or not, in Myrtle Beach that stays open until eleven. So they're getting a price for me now on what it would cost for us to just say we've got X number of people coming for coffee and dessert. Sort of a fixed price dessert and coffee menu. You could certainly order other things because it's a full scale, really great food, a great environment kind of restaurant. But what we'll need you to do once we make that post is let us know if you're going to come to that. And then we'll also, we're going to all go to breakfast together, whoever wants to, at my favorite place in Myrtle Beach. We'll go to breakfast Saturday morning at Sea Captain's house at seven o'clock. Um, and then we'll have to scurry, to, they have a buffet, so it's really great. It's not a large buffet, but they've got so much wonderful things. And they have several chefs who are cooking and they cook to order as well. So it's a lot of fun. All of this is Dutch. We can't afford to treat everybody. I wish I could, but I can't, but um, so we'll do that Saturday morning and then we'll head over to the church to enjoy Trey and coffee and hymns and then we'll do some more singing. Then I'm going to turn everybody loose for Saturday lunch and Saturday afternoon shopping and whatever you want to do. And then Saturday night we'll start at five o'clock and then afterwards 
We'll, we'll all go to supper, whoever wants to. Dutch, of course. Um, you can buy mine if you want to. I'm just kidding. Um, but I wish we could afford to just buy everything. But it, it, it's pretty expensive to put this on. So, I, you know, we'll take up a love offering, but I won't be able to do more than that. Um, but we'll go to supper after the service on Friday, uh, Saturday night for our, our last opportunity for fellowship then if anyone else wants to go to church Sunday morning, I would like for as many as would like to to go to church at Kingsway, who's hosting the event, um, Sunday morning at 1030. And, and their service lasts until 12. It's a wonderful singing church, and Stan Kennedy, pastor, um, preaches a wonderful sermon. Um, and I want to tell you, too, that um, Reverend Kirby Winstead and Reverend Pam Hughes are going to be available during the event, during the three events, for prayer, for just counseling, I mean, just talking, whatever you might need a pastor for while you're here. We're trying to make that available. Um, so we'll have that as well. So I've thrown a lot at you. I hope you'll in, you will consider coming. Um, <clears throat> airfare is relatively inexpensive in that time of year. Hotels are about as cheap as they get. Um, we have golf holiday, which starts at Labor Day and runs until Easter every year. So our rates are never dirt, dirt cheap. But um, I, know, I know the Crown Reef has a pretty good rate. And the Marriott um, Oceanfront, the residence in Marriott, has pretty good rates. Um, so um, let, let us know once we post. Don't worry about telling me now, but if you can post once... Once we post on Facebook, we're going to have a link. So all you have to do is press it to go to the website and take care of all of this. So I can't wait to see some of you. Um, of course, Mom and I are going to Murfreesboro on November 4th, um, where we're going to, um, I'm going to play a few songs for Jean McDonald to sing. And that's just such a treat. I've, I've been talking with Jean. And if you don't know Jean, he's a solo bass who travels with the Gaither vocal band, um, and he is, I, I say this without any apprehension, he's probably the best voice in gospel music, as far as I'm concerned. Um, he's a trained opera tenor, but he sings bass, and it is, it is amazing to hear, um, to hear him and hear the notes that he can reach and hear how rich and full his voice is. So um, we'll post all that stuff um, on Facebook with the website link about our January event. Um, if, you, if you can um, come to Murfreesboro on November 4th, that event is at Murfreesboro Missionary Baptist Church. And I believe it's Saturday, November 4th at 6 o'clock. It's Gene McDonald in concert, and I'm going to be accompanying him on a few songs. So... Um, I've told you I've told you all that, but we'll repost all of that. So don't worry about getting all the details right. Um, thank you all so much. Thank you for bearing with me. I see we're having some problems now, and um, my understanding is that it's restream. It's um, it's the platform that I'm using to um, broadcast to Facebook and YouTube simultaneously, and I'm having problems on Facebook and. Um, YouTube, so it's a restream issue, so I have to contact them to, for them to fix it. I will do that, I promise you. But thank you for being patient, and more than anything, being kind and gracious. I hope you have a good evening. I'll play you out. You didn't get that, did you? Uh -huh.
this will be the final ending as far as I know. I know so many of us play so many roles, um, whether it's in our job or in our home life or in the church or in, in social clubs or in civic clubs or maybe you serve in a public office. Um, and we get, we get so much thrown at us. And sometimes some things will stick that really don't need to stick. Sometimes we don't have the power to shed some things that truly bring nothing of value to us and in the end really may not be true to begin with. So I wanna, I wanna ask you as most of us are approaching our time of rest for the night, I just wanna ask you to for those things that plague your memory, that plague your conscious and maybe even your subconscious. I don't, I don't think this is wrong. I don't think it's being prideful or a wrong spirit or a haughty spirit. I think it's what Jesus wants us to acknowledge. I'm not gonna say the book of the Bible. I think it, I will. I think it's Zephaniah. I hope that's a book of the Bible. But in that book, if, that, if I said that correctly, God says he sings over us. Have you ever stood beside the nursery or stood beside um, the crib or a small bed of your child or your grandchild and sung, Yes, Jesus loves me, or he's got the whole world in his hands, or, or whatever it might be that would be your song. This is, this is the song that I want you to sing out loud to yourself. I want to I wanna think, if it's okay, yes, Zephaniah 317. Thank you for posting that, y'all. Go read it. It's worth reading. This was a secular song, but um, my friend Paul um, messaged me one night and he said, you know, that song just stopped me in my tracks. I've heard it for years, but it just became real. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful to me. You're everything I hoped for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful to me. Would you indulge yourself and sing that as you to yourself as an attestation of who God created when he created you? Sing it to yourself. You are so beautiful to me.
thing I hope for. 